of new faces, many familiar, and I am excited for tonight. Anyway, I hope your day has been well, and that you're ready to relax and play a special night of solitaire. This one is fresh off being completed. I finished up just about half an hour ago. Let it dry, and here we are. So let's begin our sixth Ape and Friends deck special. I'm looking at the shelf right now at our previous five, and it's still so crazy. Thinking about it and seeing how many of you are out there. It's so cool. And tonight, I'm excited because that means just four more decks left for our Ape and Friends. So exciting. Alright, let's dip this deck one more shuffle. And as we do that, please get yourselves nice and comfy. And let's begin our night. And that is our first card in this one. Good old Tater.
was going through the comments for our the introduction of this deck I was reading through and it reminded me of something that I wanted to share a couple videos ago and it actually got me really excited while going through these cards so some of you may not know plan to eventually um, make my own deck of cards. And if I really wanted to, the thing is, decks of cards, they're kind of a novelty in a sense for a lot of places. Like if any of you have been traveling, you'll notice you can buy a deck of cards of pretty much anything from anywhere. So knowing that, I wanted to design a deck that is very unique. I do enjoy the simple designs for the face cards and numbers, but with a nice little twist that I think would be nice, obviously, nice twist that would be nice. Anyway, so for the past several months, well into the several months, I've been working on drawing quite a bit to get better at making some art. And it's not where I'd like it to be, but what I like to do is see the progress I make over time and comparing it from, let's say, this week to last week's. And it's really neat seeing the little trail of development. Professional artist 
honest, when I think absently, that's when I have some of my better pieces. Or not pieces. My better sketchings. And what I like to try to do is draw something that doesn't exist. And that's where it's a bit weird. And that's where your mind has a little bit of fun creating shapes, images, maybe an eye from somebody you've seen, a nose from somebody else, some hair, facial structure, but when it's all said and done, something that should be completely unique. And that's what I'm so excited for when the time comes. It sucks for me to have to be patient and wait, but I think you can tell I have a pretty high ceiling for some patience. Just a thousand episodes. Now tell me that's not some patience. But anyway, it looks like we just got unlucky for our third game. So let's do a double check as there's nowhere for that five. Jack, 10, Queen. Oh, wait a second. Surprisingly, I missed that. But one more time. So nowhere for that five. Jack, 10, Queen, eight or eight. So this time we have some different culprits. And triple tens on the field. So I'll put these aside once again and then flip our cards and give the people on the cards a little bit of grief. As for the tens, we've had, or we have, this bunch. And for the threes, once again, we have these. Now let's see if there are any left unturned. All right, double sixes and jacks already on the hot stove. Double twos, double queens, double nines, double sevens, and out of all those doubles, these sevens Something else I've noticed while selecting our Ape and Friends deck members is that a lot of you are very nice. And it's so cool knowing that there's an awesome group of people here. It just makes doing this so much more fun. It kind of reminds me. I was going to say thanks in a way. And I am soon. Chess ads, or where I'd say, um, it's like a little blue screen, and 
I'm not sure if it's an advertisement or it's like, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. Or it might be PBS, come to think of it. But they just end for viewers like you. Thank you. And whenever I heard that, that sounded a little not as personalized as I would have liked, but I got the point. But while reading through the comments, I'm doing my best to respond, by the way. I've caught up on a bit, but it's still a bit hard. Just thanks for all of you. You're all awesome and make this fun. This deck is just a small manifestation, a physical manifestation of the awesomeness and gratitude that I have for all of you. And I'm just excited for us to keep going and seeing how much what how much further we can go. Sorry, my English always seems to fly out the window when I get really tired. But I think you know this by this point. Alright, let's get back to the game as it looks like we are having a bounce back. just pleasing and sweet but almost 
almost not second language, but in a sense, a second home with its comfort. And that's going to be something that's going to be fun designing. A nice pack design. So what would you focus on if you were designing a deck as once again these triple threes so far tonight have been a little mischievous. Let's see how we wrap things up, my friend. Let's see which cards were left on the 